Greetings from the World Health Organization in Geneva. I welcome this opportunity to address the annual summit of women in parliaments. Your agenda recognizes that women in leadership positions can reshape society in broadly beneficial ways. This is the spirit of women in parliaments. Your agenda also recognizes that traditional social norms gender stereotypes and biased perceptions of women kept many from developing their full human potential. Throughout history, women have been associated with care and compassion. Worldwide, up to 80% of all health care is provided in the home, almost always by women. Most of this work is unsupported, unrecognized and unpaid. Girls are born with a biological advantage. They tend to live six to eight years longer than men. As they age, this advantage is lost, often because of conditions associated with their reproductive role. Their health also suffers from lack of equal access to education and other opportunities. Worldwide, more than 580 million women are illiterate, which is more than twice the number of illiterate men. The impact of educational status on the health of women and their families is very well documented. How can we tolerate such a huge difference in such a hugely important opportunity? A full 38% of girls in developing countries notably in Asia, marry before the age of 18, and 14% do so before the age of 15. If these young ladies are lucky, health services will be able to manage at least some of the well-known risks associated with early childbearing. But public health cannot prevent early marriage. The obstacles that stand in the way of better health for women are not primarily technical or medical in nature. They are social and political, and the two go together. We will not see significant progress as long as women are regarded as second-class citizens in so many parts of the world. We will not see significant progress as long as women are excluded from educational and employment opportunities. They are paid less or not pay at all, and they are denying the right to own property, are victims of violence, have no control over household incomes, and no freedom to spend money on health care, even if it means saving their own lives. The Women in Parliament's initiative is leading by example, showing what the power of women means as a force for advancing society. Women are agents of change. Give a woman the right opportunities and she will lift herself, lift her family and lift the entire community to new heights. Thank you.